Hello, this is John, and today we're going to create your own blog using Google Blogger. Uh, first, you need to log into uh, into Google, and um, I'm going to go back to to my home page here and see what we have. I'm going to go to my account. Uh, there's going to be Blogger. And I'm going to uh, sign out of this one that I have here. You don't need to do that, but the reason is I have more than one blog email account. So I'm going to go to here and say, okay, we want to create a new blogger. It's going to ask me for my email uh, account for Google, and I'm known as the photo, as soon as I get there, the photo guy mn at gmail.com. And my password that hopefully I have written down somewhere. I'm going to sign in and I'm at my blogger account. I already have one there, but we're going to create a new, create a blog right here. It's going to ask me for a title. I've come up with one and it's going to be photo story for enjoyment. And let's see if that's available. Uh, photo story for enjoyment. Check availability. Okay, that one is not available. Let's come up with something else. Photos. Photo story for you. And me. There we go. And so we'll go and change this to photo story for you and me. Well, that's available. Word verification. Hmm. It's not printing out there on my screen. So I'm just going to have to hit continue, and there it now it comes up. We'll hit X, K, U, looks like S, T, and we'll continue. Oh, typed it wrong. So we'll go with G, B, K, Q, U, F, O, and let's see if that works. And it does. So now we have to make a choice of template. We have a number of different templates that we can uh, pick from. Uh, I'll make a simple pick. I'll choose this one. Your blog has now been created. We're going to start a blog. And we're already to our first entry for Photo Story for You and Me. And I've already created a short slide uh, presentation. Uh, to test out uh, putting a new entry in on slide.com. So it was for Mother's Day, Mother's Day 2008. And I'm going to go over to my slide.com site and I created this short little slide presentation. And what I need to do is copy this here with a control C, copy this code. And I'll go over to Blogger, and I'm going to edit HTML, and I'm going to put the cursor within the box and hit Control V. And at this point, let's publish the post, and we can view it. And now we've in our first entry on our blog, with nothing else, we've inserted this particular slide presentation. I'm going to go back because I, I'm going to edit this post. Now, I'm going to bring my cursor to the last entry there uh, the, uh, of all the HTML that's put in there. And let's just say this is uh, Mother's Day at the Cabin 2008. 
was a beautiful clear day. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we'll view the blog again. Mother's Day at the cabin was a beautiful clear day. Let's go back. Let's take a look at a couple other settings. We can uh, look at the settings, the layout. Uh, let's go to layout for a little bit. Um, this was this looks a little archaic, but it basically gives us the title, and we can change the size of the cursor and the color if we want. We can add gadgets. Let's just take a look at gadgets. Um, we can put any of these in here into our blog. Um, let's just see if we. I've never used um, newsreel, so let's put newsreel in there. Let's view our blog. Let's view our blog again. And now let's put all this information in there. We may or may not want to have it in there, and we surely could exclude it. Uh, we can go into edit uh, newsreel. Go to the bottom of the page, and we can remove it and it's gone. Um, we can go to settings and there's a number of different sub uh, tabs under settings but this basically allows us as to who we want to have see our blog if it uh, and, and what type of content it has and there's just a number of different setups that we can look at for right now we c we're going to go bypass that because for our purpose tonight is it, it's really not necessary to change any of those. Uh, let's go back to layout. I just want to look at one more thing here. Uh, just again, you can change the fonts and colors of it. You can pick a different template. You're not. It doesn't mean the template you just picked is the one that you got to stay with. You can switch it. Uh, about me. Let's see if we can edit this. And we can put some information about me. You know the photo guy in here at, the, at this point. Choose not to. Um, at this juncture, uh, let's just say that we've we've saved it, and we've created our first blog. Now. Right up here in your screen, at the top of your page or somewhere, depending on the, the uh, if you're using AOL or Google or, or an, another search engine, you should have this string. This is what you would share with any of your friends and um, so that they can get into your blog and see what you've been posting. Uh, just have to copy and paste that into an email, send it off, and you're ready to go. Uh, this is just a quick... Uh, way of putting an entry into into your blog um, and uh, hopefully uh, you have fun with it and you check out some of the other setups uh, and enter more information into it and enjoy uh, blogging have a good day bye now